afternoon and welcome to Audio Tree Live. Today is Monday, September 16th, 2019. We're so stoked to have in the studio with us Winona Forever. Whenever you're ready, let's get into some music. Tales. This next one's going to be called Five Alive.
studio with Winona forever and this is your first time touring the United States that's first right ever yeah. time yeah and la- so last night was kind of the last night of formal shows how how did it go lessons learned that you'll prepare one way or another next time you come yeah it's yeah, it's good a lot of lessons we're from Canada so we have to get all these visas and stuff and it takes a lot of time so a lot now of paperwork the logistical emails. paperwork yeah we're already yeah. starting to book our next US tour because like we left a little bit too last minute and then we lost a bunch of shows but that's okay because oh, okay. all of our shows were really great mostly nice. just very encouraging to like book more next time and like met a lot of bands met a lot of uh, promoters and stuff that we're just like, yeah, come back. And we were like, mm-hmm. yes. So <laughs> we're thinking of coming back in, in March and April. Um, but yeah, I mean, we've wanted to play in the States for, for forever. years, yeah. forever. Yeah. So to finally like kind of rip the bandaid off and just do it was uh, very encouraging. Great yeah. experience. Time. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. It's been we need a bigger sick. van. Yeah. <laughs> we do need a bigger van. A bigger van. No, yeah. that's when you're all nice and cozy that's in your true. minivan. Yeah, we're, we're very cozy. That is very, very cozy. you can just twist it as like we're minimalist when we tour and just I don't kinda... know if we are because our van is like packed to the roof <laughs> there like... was a couple milk crate kind of con- yeah. Tetris oh, yeah, yeah. configurations in there efficient, we do what we can Alex is good at like packing stuff yeah, yeah, so he's, he's, he's got some guy. he's got some ideas yeah I love Lego and stuff there you go <laughs> I you're, was more you're of a... the one at the end of the show that's like I made the specific floor plan for where oh everything goes or else exactly. it doesn't work actually they're the ones who like put my drums at the front so <laughs> yeah it's it's reassuring it's when you're close by. It's reassuring. Yeah. yeah. Um, so then I also know that there's some cooks and gardeners in the group when you're on tour, whether it's in the States or Canada. Is food at the forefront of the tour experience for you all? Or is it kind of just like, I know it's going to be fast food. It's going to be garbage. <laughs> so when I go home, I'm going to eat so good. I yeah, mean, I can't wait to get home. Yeah, <laughs> Ro- Rowan and I worked, well, I mean, Alex too for a while, but Rowan and I have like worked together for a long time and we worked in the kitchen together. So yeah, like, yeah. But yeah, we've been trying to eat all right on this tour, but it's kind of hard. Sometimes, you know? sometimes it's better than others. Yeah. We've been camping stuff so that we could cook, but 
definitely it's been a bit of a compromise. Yeah, Everyone's yeah. When, when we camp, we've been cooking, which is nice. Yeah. You're not like just eating fast food. Other, otherwise, it's like you go where the Wi-Fi is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. pretty much. <laughs> Rowan's a Rowan's a great cook, though. Rowan, like, is. Yeah. Oh, thank you. I'm I'm, a, I'm <laughs> adequate. Rowan like puts me to shame. <laughs> I, I like cooking. It's Hopefully, fun. our garden is also still. Yeah, doing yeah. Well. Yeah. Yeah. We, yeah. Uh, me Hopefully. and my girlfriend planted a garden like a few months before we left, and then didn't really get to harvest much of it because we these yeah, squirrels. We left, but these oh, damn yeah, squirrels. They kept like kept eating my tomatoes. <laughs> it was really disappointing. <laughs> no, yeah, everything. I thought it was a person, so I put a sign out there for a while, but then I realized it was probably animals. Squirrels. And, like, I just seemed crazy. Yeah. I mean, yeah. French. <laughs> we don't know that. No, we I don't. Wrote it in English we don't know that. If Pixar has told me anything, it's that there's a chance. There's a exactly. chance they know exactly what they're doing. I hope Pixar isn't watching because we're trying to pitch an animated film about squirrels. Yes. <laughs> just like a short like the pre oh no I'm full length oh full length oh we're doing possibly it possibly sequels doing it big <laughs> sequels <laughs> franchise Sorry. material hey. so as you're listening to the next batch of music kind of visualize what this squirrel movie would be all about but if you're ready let's get into some more music uh, yeah cool. let's do a backseat, backseat. alright yeah, yeah let's go backseat <laughs> Feel good, and we're playing songs off of that mostly. This one's called Joyride. You just taping up a little bit. You ready? Yeah. All right, okay. Mm-hmm. 
wind in your hair When we're driving around You got your feet up on the deck Head up the window like a dog Got music song And I like every song So much better when you sing along You pick me up when I'm down Watching Audio Tree live, we're in the studio with Winona forever, and I feel like the that track "Joyride" is a perfect segue into talking about the new record, the Feel Good LP, and the effects that you're using in that song, and some of the time changes <laughs> is a really good reflection of the album as a whole. Uh, how do you, as you're writing it, when do you know that? You're going to throw in these things. How does it come naturally? Is it just trial and error? Oh, let's try this effect. Let's try this effect. Just because there's so many different things going on in this album. Um, I mean, specifically for that song, I uh, this I Alex had this pedal that was like really really weird, and I'd never really used it. And then it's it was twenty five dollars. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and it was That's just like Canadian kind of in a box. <laughs> yeah. We, yeah, yeah, twenty five Canadian. Uh, it was in a box we had for a while, and then I just kind of started messing around with it, and it's really fun. You can do a lot of things with it. It's got like a like a trem bar setting, you can like just do like deep dives and crazy <laughs> things. And then that one just kind of like, I think it's called Flutter or something. And it yeah. just like, yeah, it sounds really weird. And I was like, oh, that's cool. Nice. So, you know. Yeah, yeah. I think like we just kind of let inspiration take hold on this album. Like whatever kind of, uh, like we did horns for the first time and mm -hmm. like some of the really wonky stuff. And eventually it all sounded cohesive. But we were kind of just <laughs> like, let let it let it be yeah that song that song <laughs> i don't know why i said that um that song took a while to finish though like we had that instrumental and then we had mm -hmm. to finally get an arrangement and a and a like song concept that we liked for it but yeah some of those songs are born out of jams and some of them are like written separately brought together but it's kind of a collage that ended up feeling cohesive at the end so yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. And i know prior to this lp coming out some of these songs were released as singles when you were re releasing them as singles, did you kind of know, like, we're going to release these, but we definitely want them to be part of a more cohesive album? Or kind of what was the background behind those? Um, I think we, we wanted that. I mean, someone thought that we, uh, someone that we, that came to one of our shows was like, it's so cool how you, like, strategically put all those singles out. And I was like, <laughs> we, just, we just put them out when, we were, when they were done. Yeah, yeah um, That's where you just take credit. You're like, yes, yeah, yeah, we yeah. were very <laughs> methodic. Yeah. We have so much yeah, we foresight. <laughs> we're very visionary. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, we, that's exactly what we said. Um, no, but, like, yeah, we, we, we knew we wanted to do something with them. Um, it was going to be an EP. It was going to be a bunch of things, but... Eventually, it was like enough songs to be an album, and yeah. we did want them to kind of have that have that sound. But it did take like 
two years to yeah. finish. So. Yeah, we, yeah, we were, we were <laughs> going to put it in more Keith. than that. Yeah. yeah, no, it took a while. I mean, we started we in Vancouver, and then our basement flooded, which was our, like... Oh, yeah, that kind of set us back a little bit. Yeah, it was crazy. I came home, walked into, like, this far up, just water. Oh, oh yeah, I, like, stepped jacked. into my room, and yeah, me I was and like, Rowan oh, why is it wet? <laughs> <laughs> Alex still wears capris to this day. We lost yeah. some vinyl, but... <laughs> But, yeah, that was where the birthplace of a lot of these songs was, and then we've kind of finished a bunch of them in Montreal. But, um, yeah, not not an amazing amount of planning, but also eventually we were like, okay, this is what it should be. Yeah. We'll put it out we'll put it out on vinyl with a Vancouver little indie label, and we felt we felt like that was a good way to, like, you know, like shout present out the songs. Kingfisher shout Blues. Kingfisher King Fisher Fisher Blues. Yeah. yeah. Thanks, shout Tim. out Tim. Nice. And then I, the last question before we go into gazing the next song is – with music like this, you can get kind of roped up into the arrangement and the like, the melody lines and kind of the instrumental part. From a lyrical standpoint with this record, is there any song lyrically that kind of is very meaningful to the band or is an interesting story that you'd like to kind of shine light on? It's like, hey, this is an awesome riff, but deep dive into the song, like it has kind of an interesting background to it or could be comical, could be serious, could be whatever. <laughs> Dang. And it's okay. That's like a yeah. heavy <laughs> no, I'm joking. I think for me on this album, like we, we were kind of playing like garage year music and like and like post high well, high school, post high school, you're kinda of, like just like you're just figuring your life out. So it's kind of a little more a little more emo on the lyrics, but um as we started to like get really into recording and like being a band and like uh just doing stuff outside of high being a being a human being outside of high school, I think all the lyrics are kind of you know, feel good like Listen to that kind of music. Waking mm-hmm. up, making breakfast. Yeah. I can't. I mean, the the whole album kind of is trying to channel that, trying to channel that vibe. Yeah, just um, like trying yeah. to be an adult a little bit. Yeah, yeah but, <laughs> but like it's things like are all right. Yeah, yeah, everything's like everything's pretty. I just pretty good. wanted it's not, it's to make positive there. music, even if yeah, the world is super positive all yeah. the time. But that would be kind of an overview of the lyrical. Like, the, there's yeah. a lot of just kind of like uh, quotidian ref, like just like things from daily life that we want to sing about. I don't know. Yeah. Nice. Well, let's keep the the positive vibes going with uh, the last couple songs. Yeah, Yeah, this one's called Gazing.
Audio Tree Live. We've been in the studio with Winona forever. Definitely check out their latest release, the Feel Good LP, available now. Winona Forever, thank you, thank you, thank you so much thank for coming so much. this thank afternoon. You for having us. It was amazing. Thank you. Big thanks to all the awesome people here in the studio, camera and lighting crew, sound engineer, and you, the viewer. Definitely catch out, catch this session and others on Apple Music, Spotify, Bandcamp, and wherever else you stream or purchase music. Give us a shout or the band if you want to connect. And from all of us here at Audio Tree Live, thanks for tuning in, and we'll catch you next time. Bless. All right, so you guys want to do it for real now?